The songs that I did today uh, were up here, and that's sort of, um, really it's just about being who you are and not caring what anyone thinks about, just being yourself. Not Sorry is uh, sort of a little story about wanting something that's not yours and deciding to take it anyway. Say It's Possible was a song that I wrote after, after I saw uh, Al Gore's film, An Inconvenient Truth, and um, it was inspired by that. I chose uh, Perfect Day by Lou Reed as being something that I would want to cover. I just love the song. <laughs> I think it's an incredible song, and that was it. I started writing my own songs about seven years ago and decided that I wanted to kind of play little clubs and tour around the U.S. for a while. In a matter of weeks, a couple of weeks after I started posting my songs online, all of a sudden I had hundreds of thousands of views, you know, and people started covering uh, Say It's Possible. Now there's, I guess, about over 300 covers and uh, in also languages in French and German, Spanish and Dutch and Mandarin, Chinese. and um, So it was uh, kind of overwhelming, actually. <laughs> so I thought I would, I thought I would, you know, post the videos online and maybe a couple thousand people would see them. I had no idea that it would be millions. All my songs are definitely um, kind of based in either my own experiences or observations. So there definitely is, um, most of the songs are quite personal. Uh, there's some that are just more, um, more kind of observations of the world that I see or issues that I am aware of. Um, it's definitely a really a personal album. I wrote all the songs on it, so it's kind of moments from my own life. A lot of the songs on the album changed from what I might have been able to imagine in my head, you know, once we got the musicians in the studio and kind of gave an idea of what we wanted and then heard what they played. And it's, sometimes people came up with stuff that was so beautiful, you know, that I wouldn't have been able to imagine. So I'm really excited to start working with other musicians and playing those. I think it's also, um, for touring, it's been great because I'm used to just driving around by myself and I think it'll be really cool, um, even on stage, to have other people to play with, you know, play music with. Say It's Possible will be released on um, June 11th, so, but it's just a digital release. It's not really technically the first single, but uh, so it'll be a global digital release on June 11th. And then um, the album's all recorded and mastered. I'm working on the art right now, and it's coming out in August. Right now, um, I'm playing a couple festivals, um, Hyde Park and um, Latitude Festival. And in uh, August, I'm going to come back with the full band do a London show that kind of coincides with the release of the album. Playing live is my favorite thing to do. I love the studio and I like you know, everything else, but to just play for a room of people or a giant room of people or a tiny room of people, you know, that's, that's what I really love to do. So hopefully I'll have lots of touring planned. It's already a great year. <laughs> it's been amazing. I mean, um, record my album moved to London. The music seems cooler here. People are more open-minded. People are more interested in new music, not just in finding whatever sounds exactly like the current pop hit that's on the radio now, you know. Um, and I think it's just a great, great place to be based.